Ignacio Echeverria was a young Spaniard who died while saving a woman with his skateboard in the London bombings on June 3, 2017. Those who knew him want him to become a saint. He was a good man. He was a man who took great interest in life and was attentive to the lives of others. But what characterized him the most was his eagerness to do things well and to perfect himself as a person. Ignacio, better known as the hero of the skateboard, confronted terrorists when they were trying to stab a woman. His gesture cost him his life. The terrorists intended to run over pedestrians in London with a van. Had it not been for Ignacio's sacrifice, the attack would have been much worse. His father believes his actions were motivated by his faith. He practiced the sacraments weekly, and for a while he was going to a Catholic action group. Faith was a very important factor that he relied on. Now, five years after his death, the Diocese of Madrid has initiated the necessary steps for his possible canonization process. It leads the church to discern if there really is a possibility of opening the process. Ignacio has gained more popularity, and therefore it is very likely that within a short time, the process of beatification and canonization for Ignacio will formally begin. Despite being lengthy, these processes encourage the diocese to take special interest in the cause. It fills us with pride. It fills us with joy to know that a son of our church has had this precious gesture of giving his life to save other people, moved by love for God and love for his brothers. Ignacio's family is convinced that their son already has his place in heaven, but they would like him to be officially canonized and are looking for a miracle through his intercession. The way he died was an act of generosity, an extreme act, which is a great example. Our young people should think that it is worthwhile to improve their skills because the most talented and capable will be able to do the most useful work that will be good for everyone. Ignacio, together with his inseparable skateboard, was moved by generosity and sacrificed his life for the lives of others. Now, he is already one step closer to being recognized as a servant of God.